If you watch a lot of my content, you know that I am really into Escape from Tarkov. But what you might not know is that I'm really excited about the entire genre that's coming out of this game. This high stakes extraction looter that games like Marauders, The Cycle Frontier, and even Dark and Darker have taken inspiration from. Which is why I was super excited when the guys at Arena Breakout reached out about doing a sponsored video. Arena Breakout is trying to bring this first person shooter, immersive, realistic extraction looter experience to mobile. They have a closed beta test that's available right now on Android and coming soon on iOS, but more details on that later. At a high level, it really does fit right into this genre. You've got your character, you drop into a map, and you've got tons of stuff to do. You can be questing, exploring, PvPing, uh, fighting AI, finding loot, gearing up, extracting, and then selling everything you have or keeping it for future use and building up your stash. And they really are going all in on the hardcore shooter element of this. You have to check your mags and load them individually. You have to make sure that you have the right meds for the job. There's a lot of stuff here that we're going to talk about in a bit, but it really is kind of fitting into this genre really well. And to start off, I wanted to take a second to talk about the look and the feel of the game, specifically because I have never really played any mobile games like this before, or really at all. I know there's a really dedicated fan base of mobile gamers out there, and so this was kind of me dipping my toe into this, and I have to say that I was really impressed with how the game looks and feels. The map I played was surprisingly big. Even just the first raid where I was just trying to get my quest done and get out as soon as possible, it took me like 10-15 minutes to get from one side of the map to the other, and they're really cool looking maps. It's not just copy-paste textures everywhere. They really feel like locations where as you maneuver through the maps, it changes and you have different buildings and different zones. It felt really cool. Also, the graphics, once again, going in, not knowing what to expect and therefore not expecting a whole lot, were really cool. It's really colorful. The environments feel really cool. And overall, I felt the game looked great and didn't really suffer at all from any performance issues. It was pretty smooth the entire time I played. Something else that impressed me a lot was the sound of the game as well. Guns feel really meaty and chunky and walking around the environment, you actually hear the different materials that you're stepping on. It sounds different if you're inside versus outside. The environment itself sounds really cool. There's a lot of immersion and storytelling that can be done with sound, and I feel like this game did a pretty good job. There were times where I was in the menus looting either a player or an AI that I killed, and you just hear shots off in the distance or you hear footsteps running close, and you never know if that's another player rolling up on you or if it's an AI. So the sound really did add to the experience, and I loved the stress of hearing fights off in the distance. Another big thing for me was the controls and the playability of it. Once again, being pretty new to mobile gaming, I was really interested on how that was going to go, especially since, like we said earlier, there are a lot of controls. They really went hard on this. There's a lot of things to do. And being on a phone really is a blessing and a curse. Being able to touch with your fingers actually make things like looting really simple and really easy. You can just tap one side of the screen, tap the other, and it moves something from one place to another, loading mags, maneuvering menus. That was really, really easy. The thing I was really worried about was actually combat, was trying to move, strafe, aim, prone, crouch, lean. All these controls are there, but how is it actually going to feel? Uh, the good news is after even just a few raids, as somebody that's completely new to mobile gaming, I already start to feel myself really kind of getting the hang of it. And then what's also really cool is that the controls are infinitely customizable. You can go into the settings and move all the buttons around how you would like them. You can increase or decrease the size of them. You can make them more or less transparent so that you notice them less. So I feel like they really nailed that and the ability to completely customize how you control it so that you can really get used to it and it can be feeling really good really quickly. And another cool thing about this is that there are additional features that I didn't even expect that made traversing the map really easy. Things like vaulting. We've wanted vaulting in Tarkov for so long. So the fact that I could walk, sprint, run, jump, prone, crouch, vault over things, maneuvering through the map felt really easy. And then they also have a map. It's not a mini map that's up all the time, but you can stop and open up the map and see the map. I feel like that's a perfect implementation for a mobile game. I'm not going to have a second monitor up with a map like we do with some of these other games. So it makes sense to have some resource available, but it's not a mini map that's up all the time. So it really does feel like it fits. It fits for a mobile version of this genre where it's still a hardcore. You kind of have to stand there and open up the map, but those resources are available for you. Outside of the matches, there are tons of features as well. There are multiple different traders that you unlock as you level up. These people give you quests that then you can go do to gain experience and to earn rewards. They sell gear and valuables to you and they buy things from you, things that you extract from the raid, which is how you level up and make money. What I found really cool as well is that a lot of the rarest items in the game are up for barters, not just like some premium currency. This makes looting while you're in a match feel really, really good. And this just kind of ties into why I love this genre in general and how I think that they really nailed it is that when you're in a match, 
there are so many things to do. You could be doing money runs, just trying to farm money or XP. You could be out there looking for PVP with your best stuff on. You could be questing so that you can unlock more traders. And you could be doing that and then looting and find something really valuable or really rare that you need for a barter, for a case or something like that in your stash. And now you want to get out with that thing. So that whole thing feels really familiar and feels really good. Additionally, there is an open player driven market where if you find something super rare and maybe you don't need that barter because you've already done it, well, you can put this up on the market. You can set a super high price and make a ton of money that way. I'm really actually interested to see how the market fleshes out for this game. If it becomes something that's used by the players for multiple different items and tons of different stuff and gear and all the th different things that you can sort through, or if it's just kind of like very specific items for the barters for the higher tier stuff. But ultimately, I think it's really cool that it's in here and it seems like it's going to be a really cool tool. There's also a few different modes or ways that you can experience the game. Tac Ops is your character, your character that you're building up his stash and his guns and his level. You pick your gear, you pick what you want to bring into the raid with, you bring it in. If you die, you'll lose every single thing you brought in. And if you survive, you take all your stuff out and you put it back into your stash. And then there's Covert Ops, where you actually spawn in with a random kit and assume the role as one of the AI in this game, very similar to the Scavs and Escape from Tarkov. And this is a way for you to go around and loot up or maybe find some players and fight them, extract. If you extract everything that you extract with, you get to send over to your main character. I love this mechanic in Tarkov, and it feels like it really makes sense in this game as well. Games like this are complicated. There's a lot to learn, and it's really easy to get on a death streak and just lose all your stuff. So without sacrificing how hard the experience of the game is, there is a way for you to experience the map, practice, go learn some of the mechanics, and go play in a different way, and I feel like that works really well. Additionally, there is an incredibly deep gunsmith mechanic as well. There are tons of guns and attachments in this game, which means customizing your weapon, is really, really cool. And there are just so many different variations that you can choose from that all have different stats. It's very deep, very complex, and really fun to kind of noodle around in and create a gun, a really cool gun that you want to bring into your next match. And there's a clan system as well, meaning that you can join a clan, game with your friends, and actually do this whole experience with squads. You can go in with other players, with friends, and go loot up and get some quests done together. I honestly really did enjoy my time playing this game. They have a ton of new content that's going to be coming as well. More guns, more maps, more operators, a ton of stuff like that. The closed beta test is free. And that kind of brings me to my only one real concern with the game is that it's a really cool, really fun, really deep experience. And it's free, which brings to all of our minds the monetization and what that's going to be. Because this is still a beta, I don't know that all of those things have been finalized. I don't know how the monetization is going to work. But I will say that the one thing I did find was on their website, it said that this beta test is a no billing data deletion beta test without in-app purchases on Android. And all of your data will be wiped after the beta test ends. So that is something that I at least found interesting. I think that I don't know that how game design works, but I think that they could have if they wanted to during the beta test, even though everybody's stuff is going to be deleted, opened up the monetization. Betas generate a lot of hype around games, and they could have cashed in on that by allowing people to spend as much money on they want on whatever the monetization is going to be and just cash all that money, but they chose not to. So that's not to say that they won't monetize it aggressively in the future, but I did find that interesting and I did find that cool that they're not even allowing that in the beta test. I personally feel like this game kind of fits perfectly for a really cosmetic driven monetization if that's the route they want to go. I think there are really cool and immersive and realistic gun camos or operators or skins or stuff like that that wouldn't take away from the experience of the game but would allow people to customize their characters the way that they wanted to and that really could be a win-win. Once again I don't know how they're going to do it but that would make sense to me and it feels like that would fit this game. But ultimately like I said I had a blast playing it. This is just a beta test. There's so much more to come. If you're interested in it, like we said, the closed beta test is available live right now for Android and the iOS version is coming in March. You can check the link down below or in the pinned comment. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I know it's new. I know it's different for me, but this was a cool opportunity for a genre that I love on a new platform that I'm not very familiar with and I had a blast playing it. So thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. If you like the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Thank you again for stopping by and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.